Good morning and thanks for tuning in. This is Holly Shield live from Calcutta Studios in Sydney and you're watching The Early Trades. This is our market open report. Today, the S&P ASX 200 is up 0.38%, setting a new 50-day high. The top performing stocks in this index are Alchem up 0.98% and Horizon Holdings up as well 054 over the past five days, the index has gained 1.36%, but is still virtually unchanged over the year-to-date period. And the top losers were Whitehaven Coal, Aluka Resources, Beach Energy, Romelius Resources and St. Barbara today. And now for a look at some of the stocks making a buzz in the opening session. MyDeal.com.au is pleased to announce the launch of its new marketplace, Amazed.com which is an open marketplace of activities and experiences built for locals, helping people seek, discover and experience a more inspiring life. Amaze provides consumers with these experiences through a seamless one-stop shopping environment while providing wider distribution and revenue generating opportunities for activity holders. And also in the news today, the Hydration Pharmaceuticals Company is pleased to advise that it's entered into a binding deal with prominent North American actress and entrepreneur Shay Mitchell. Under the agreement, Mitchell will become a brand ambassador for the company as well as an equity partner. Mitchell is a Canadian-born actress, model and mother and she has a significant social media presence boasting over 32.5 million Instagram followers. 3 million on Twitter and 4.23 million YouTube subscribers, as well as over 6.8 million followers on TikTok. She's about three times the Instagram following of some of America's most prominent athletes and almost 40 times the following of some of Australia's leading online entrepreneurs. Mitchell is best known for her roles in Pretty Little Liars and You, and she's currently starring in Hulu's Dollface. Also in the news today, Telstra announced the remaining steps required to finalize its proposed legal restructuring over the course of 2022. The company is using a scheme of arrangement to implement key parts of the restructuring as most practical and efficient way to create a new Telstra group. The restructure involves a transfer of assets and liabilities within the entities of Telstra Group and the scheme arrangement will enable those assets and liabilities to be transferred by order of the court. Once the new holding company is in place and separate to the scheme, Telstra intends to establish inter its international rather, business under a separate subsidiary within the Telstra group to keep that part of the business, including subsea cables, together as one entity. And as well, leading location intelligence and aerial imagery company Nearmap has reached another key financial milestone, achieving the first time an annual contract value of $150 million for its group portfolio. Nearmap has also signed its largest ever government annual contract in North America with key premium content in the business's side. And Nearmap continues to successfully drive its strategy across core verticals. The largest ever government annual contract win demonstrates the enormous value and benefits government organizations gain from Nearmap Tech, as well as their data, content and analysis. And another headline for today, Lake Resources advises that it's signed a non-binding memorandum of understanding with a major Japanese partner, Hanwha Co. The company has an A credit rating to provide for an offtake of up to 25,000 tons per annum of lithium carbonate over a 10-year period with an extended additional 10 years and a minimum of 15,000 TPA LCE from the Kachi project to be priced at an average quarterly benchmark market prices. And Suncorp Group today announced the launch of the offer for new Australian dollar denominated floating rate unsecured subordinated notes. The wholesale subordinated notes 3 will be offered to institutional investors and other wholesale investors at a notational face value of $10,000 per note with a minimum subscription amount of $500,000 or otherwise issued in a manner which does not require disclosure in accordance with Part 62 and Part 7 of the Corporations Act. And that is a wrap for now on the early trades. Tune in for more only on Calcine TV. This is Holly Shield signing off.